So it seems like just yesterday I was sitting here doing a video talking about how Bitcoin was going to be having, which is the reward of Bitcoin would be divided by two. Well, that yesterday that I'm so memorable about was four years ago. And times have definitely changed for Bitcoin over the last four years. I think we've seen a development in technology, progress of the ideology of Bitcoin, and the spread and the usability of this digital online currency. But there are some things that are genetically intrinsic to Bitcoin that will never go away. And Bitcoin halving is one of those. Now, I've done a video explaining what Bitcoin halving is, and I'll link the, it, the, vid the video in the description if you're interested. But essentially, when Bitcoin was started, every block mined would be a reward of 50 Bitcoins. Four years ago, I did a video speaking about how we were going to be dividing that by two. Every roughly four years, the reward gets halved. So we went from 50 to 25, which is where we're at currently. Now we're going to be looking at 12.5 Bitcoins per reward. Now you might ask yourself, well, how important is this? And what effects does it have on the Bitcoin economy, ecosystem, and relations to its price? Well, I'm going to give some figures. So most likely, we'll see a halving around August 5th, which is about 160 some days away. So it's not a huge concern right now, but we'll start to see in the next 100 or so days, investors starting to align their predictive values that Bitcoin will change to, to the currency. So, we got some time. The biggest thing though is, on average right now, 3,100 Bitcoins are made every day. Seems crazy. I know they're not made, they're mined, and you get know, in the technical aspect, but 3,100 Bitcoins. The big thing I talk about in the economy of Bitcoin is the fact that for the economy price, so the price of Bitcoin, right now it's about 420. Uh, for, I think it's like 420, 18 cents, but if you want to be exact. <laughs> And for that price to stay steady tomorrow, here's the problem. So we're in today, right? Well, today we're going to have 3,100 Bitcoins mined or created, however you want to define it. Well, you know what the USD value of that is? Over $1.2 million. This means that... USD currency or United States dollar currency or, or the equivalent in the Chinese yen or the European Union's currency which is the euro or the Russian ruble. In total, the US equivalent of 1.2 million dollars has to move into the Bitcoin economy every day for the price to stay steady. Now what we noticed here in the last few months is the Bitcoin price has actually increased quite substantially. So this means more than more than 1.2 million dollars every day is going into the Bitcoin economy, which is phenomenal. It's great. Now, the Bitcoin having you know the time interval that this will happen is adjustable by difficulty, by the amount of miners, by the um, I think now we're but it's a huge. We calculate the mining capability, of the Bitcoin um, mining. Uh, it's really interesting because there's multiple different terms to be used. No one really has a coin term for the entirety of all the miners in the Bitcoin um, mining setup. Uh, but we'll, we'll call them the peer-to-peer -peer mining collaborative. All these people in the collaborative that are mining Bitcoins. Well, here's the thing. When the halving happens in August or around August, suddenly half the reward is taken. Now, theoretically, and what we've observed four years ago, is the price then escalates to about double its current value. It's like a stock. When a stock splits, it's worth less. When a stock doubles, or not really the word double, basically, it's called a stock merge. So basically, if you have two shares, it becomes one share. A stock split is you have one share, and it becomes two shares. So, for instance, in a stock split, say Apple stock was worth $100, and to split that one share into two shares, each share would be worth $50. If you had two shares, each worth, each worth $50, and suddenly they merged, one share would be worth $100. Well, that's kind of how it works in Bitcoin halving. It's really, really interesting because, I mean, I remember sitting here when we were in the, uh, the uh, Giga hashes, the Feta hashes, the Peta hashes. I mean, it has the, the mining capability of Bitcoin has extremely 
exponentially folded over and over. So, in layman's terms, what does Bitcoin having mean? It means to the average folk that those 3,100 Bitcoins that are made every day will be halved. So, around 1,500 Bitcoins around August will be made every day. Theoretically, the price of Bitcoin should double to correct for that over, or overcorrect. That's why I'm saying in the next 100 days you'll notice some changes because investors, uh, manipulators on the economy, and people that day trade and things like that between Bitcoin and the altcoins or uh, in the Forex market will attempt to equivalently before the actual halving happens. We see that happen all the time with, with uh, different uh, altcoins and the various cryptocurrencies. So get on the lookout for that. You'll notice Bitcoin's price then therefore should technically increase until August for investors to prepare for that uh, having to take place. Again, we're in interesting times and the fact that I'm sitting here talking about how it feels like just yesterday, but four years ago, this having took place. For the more technical aspect, you might see an increase in difficulty. You might see a decrease in the hash rate of Bitcoin. Because suddenly, if, if you're a mine, it depends on, and I have a whole video series talking about whether or not you should mine, and if you mine at a large scale operation, a medium scale, or individual scale, and the, the reasons that you would want to mine at each one of those levels. A large facility that has an operation, they're probably not going to shut down with a halving. But a medium sized operation to a home, they are very likely to. The medium sized operation almost has to because of energy cost, uh, because the, unless the price of Bitcoin does double, then there can be some escalation there. However, if the price doesn't double, therefore you're spending more electricity. Now I've talked about this in other videos that the home user, like people like me, are like, well, I'm just doing it kind of for the fun of it. But if you're mining Bitcoin just for the fun of it, you can't really do that at a small economical level. You almost have to be at a large, large production level because they have the mining equipment to be able to handle such a, you know, be able to make a profit on it, it's all large scale operations nowadays. And again, I have, I have like in total 30 videos on this channel talking about how difficulties adjusted, how mining capabilities adjusted difficulty, adjusted the Bitcoin's price, yada, yada, yada. But in the end of the day, we should see Bitcoin's price go up. And again, in August, the amount of Bitcoins that you get when you mine a Bitcoin or a block is half. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Have a great night.